hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your S24 Ultra S Pen stinks? I guess. So, much to my surprise, probably to your surprise watching this video, I woke up this morning and I was looking at some news articles, I was doing some research, and I saw S24 Ultra S Pen stinks. Yes, S Pen it stinks. And I, I have to admit, probably in the history of every single Samsung Galaxy phone that I've ever owned or Note, I don't think I've ever sniffed my S Pen. So if you'd like to join me in this experiment. Yeah, it smells like plastic. So <laughs> there are some thought processes around this. I don't even know if previous ones stink or stunk, whichever one's appropriate. Uh, have you ever noticed a particular uh, odor emanating from your S Pen? I have not. So there's some theories behind this, other than I guess there's just nothing to talk about in the news cycle. Uh, also, I mean, pretty obvious I'm talking about it myself, but I was sitting there, I'm like, this is one of the stupidest things that I've seen in a long time. The S Pen stinks. I mean, it does. It doesn't smell great. It's not like you pull out your S Pen and take a whiff of it and like it pairs nice with a good Chianti and some Farva beans. But I mean, it's it's not particularly pleasant smelling, but I mean, who's sitting there, whoop, yeah, I caught it. Uh, who's sitting there like this, smelling their S Pen? I mean, maybe, I, I think the theory is, is because of the type of plastic they use and the phone, especially when you're using it, if, if you get into some intense gaming sessions, if the phone starts getting hot, it can transfer some of that heat to the S Pen, which in turn makes it more odiferous whenever you pull it out of the silo. But I got to tell you, I, I don't know, I, I've been using this thing since I got it, not once did I ever notice any smell emanating from it. They say it smells like burnt plastic or plastic. Look, it just smells like plastic that sits in an electronics housing bay. I don't know that anybody ever intended this to be a scratch and sniff product. I don't know that Samsung ever really had anybody sit there. I, I bet you after this video, after this news cycle, and it wasn't just one news outlet. I was looking at it, I'm like, what is going on here? I mean, The Verge picked it up, Android Authority, Gizmo, China, Phone Arena. I mean, you've got lots of articles here. The S Pen on the Galaxy S4 Ultra stinks, literally. S24 Ultra owners notice a bad smell from its S Pen, but Samsung says don't worry. Phone Arena, Galaxy S24 users shocked to find that their S Pen smells burnt and funky. Again, I, I think nobody's ever really smelled these things before, but I did another smell test. I, and this is a bit different scenario. It's the only other Samsung S Pen that I have. I got the one off my Z Fold 5. I mean, no real smell coming from it, but of course it's not internally in the phone. It's probably made out of different materials, whatever. So, yeah, if you're worried about it, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think there's any way you can desmell it. But again, I would encourage you to take your S Pen out of your phone, uh, give it a whiff, and see if you think this smells. But this is, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just think it's weak, weak news cycle stuff that's going on. And very... Very clearly it is. There's nothing to talk about right now. <laughs> there hasn't been a new device launched in a while. Uh, we're coming up on April. It's just that time of year. There's not a whole lot of important things to talk about. So everybody's like, hey, somebody said there's pen doesn't smell good. Let's make a video about that. Let's let's make a news article. I mean, I've got other things I can talk about. I'm still sitting here trying to figure out how I want to formulate my video to talk about this whole Apple lawsuit thing. Because there, there's a lot of people. I, I think the most interesting thing about the whole Apple lawsuit is not so much the fact that the Department of Justice is suing Apple and going after them for maybe predatory practices, maybe monopolistic uh, behavior, whatever. It's the, the Apple bros that are pissed off because how dare you? How dare you say something bad about Apple? You know, how, how dare you come after them? Look, they just made products that are so good that nobody else can possibly compete with them. Never mind the fact that the Apple Watch can't be used with any other phone. Never mind the fact that no other watch can really be used with the with an iPhone because they don't allow access to the API. Never mind the fact that you can't ever use your Apple Pay if you leave your iPhone or they don't allow other forms of payment to work or integrate with their phone, much like if you get an Android phone. Yep, there. Look, I don't think that Apple in this situation, maybe they did, maybe there's nefarious intent, I don't know. They, I, I don't think that companies have to go out there and make their best product with the intent of allowing access to everybody else because they made such a good product. But whenever you have something that starts to turn into the de facto mainstream way of communication, 
And then you have these veiled practices that won't let programmers program for your platform. You disincentivize programmers from programming for another platform. And then you can't use certain things with or without the, with the platform, like your pay features, your accessories. I mean, there's just certain things that are like, okay, yeah, we could probably find a way to make this better, <laughs> uh, where you can have some competition still, where folks can use their products, they're not locked in, especially if like, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, basically that stuff becomes useless if you leave and if you wanted to go to Android. Not saying that it should work identically, but I mean, it should at least connect to the phone, <laughs> maybe get a message. Anyway, so I, I maybe that video will come out tomorrow, but I, I was sitting here this morning, I'm like, what stupid BS on the internet is there going on today? Oh, this is a good one. Your S Pen stinks. So that's pretty much it. I mean, no other big updates this week. I'm hungry. Took my kids for, my, for his birthday yesterday. It was a good time. Beautiful weather, all those great things. Spring is basically here, unless you're one of the four states under a blizzard notice right now. But yeah, if you cared about what was going on in the tech circle where people are trying to get clicks on it today, it is the S Pen stinks. I don't know. I don't even necessarily know that it stinks. I mean, it has, a, it has an aroma, like it has an odor, but I don't know that it stinks. It's not necessarily unanticipated. I mean, who goes around sniffing plastic and going, oh, yeah, the plastic smells like plastic. I mean, that's basically what it smells like to me. I mean, maybe there is some of that air of electronic component from inside the phone that kind of imbues itself into the the surface. I don't know, but I don't think it's bad. I don't care. I think it's stupid. Uh, you probably will too if you watch my channel and that's pretty much all she wrote. Like I, that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, if you've got any topics you'd like to see in the next couple of days, sound off in the comments, let me know. I do have my one plus two watch review coming probably next two or three days. Uh, I really needed to give it, like, I took it with me and went to Europe. It came out. I actually left my charger at home, so then I couldn't charge it. It died, so then I couldn't get my video up by the embargo time period. And then I came home, and then it's, like, trying to get back into the swing of things. But So I've been wearing it for over a week now, full-time, daily driver. There's a lot of stuff I like about it. I mean, there really is. It's a beautiful watch, beautifully made. I love the integration with Wear OS. It is missing certain functions like the ECG, you know, LTE, and things like that. But... At the price point, when you pair it up against some of the other watches, it does have some nice things that I think it does do better. So that's encouraging. Good stuff from OnePlus there. But yeah, not a lot of exciting things going on in the tech circle right now. And hopefully things are going better in your life and you're having a great time. Uh, hopefully you had a great spring break. You're nice and energized, recharged, ready to finish off the last part of the school year. And yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to sign off. Probably going to go eat some Tex-Mex. And I'll see y'all guys tomorrow. So thanks for everything. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this stupid video because the internet news cycle be stupid right now, bro. Uh, and that's about as best as I can offer. So as always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button, little notification bell. If you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys next time.